this is my makeup channel where I do tutorials. So I did this with the to see right here. This is actually like really basic for me. Um, this looks is long ass off, so this might be a little bit of a shorter video. But yeah, I want to do like a glitter glam. And I actually love how this look came out. Usually I do this look with kind of like a smoky lower lash line, but I didn't today. I basically just wanted the glitter to be the main focus, and I used a cream liner in my water line, and I absolutely loved how this turned out. You guys could do a white eyeliner or a black one, but um, I didn't want um, to be too in their face. And um, when you kind of want the look to calm down a little bit, I always use a cream liner, and I just love how this looks. Together. And if I used a white liner with this look, it's just like a silver lid color. And it's just like a silver lid color. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and I love that this looks like a silver color. You could do like a bold lip, a red lip, a dark lip, but I decided to do kind of a pinky lip just because um, my lips are really dry and swollen still. They're way better than yesterday, but. Um, it's still a little cracked, but they're they're not as swollen or engorged or hurting. Like they were so swollen yesterday. They're way better. Um, today I actually used honey and coconut oil last night. I just put it on, left it for five minutes, took it off with a baby wipe, and they feel much better when I woke up today. They're not as like ah, you know. And yesterday it was really hard to talk. Like I told my boyfriend, I was like, I can barely talk right now because it's so swollen. It was just my upper lip, not my bottom lip. But yeah, I love this tutorial that I did. Um, yeah, sometimes I don't want to wear like a crazy smoky eye, or I don't want to like do a crazy look but yeah i love that this look i did more of a subtle um bronzer and contour i did a light kind of um light peach cheek and i did kind of i mean this is pretty i mean for me it's kind of a subtle highlight but for other people it's not but this is my version of easy simple glam like this is probably the least makeup i've ever worn in my life but my mom will tell me this is a lot of makeup. I was like, no, it's not compared to what I usually do. Bitch, don't even go there. But this is basic for me. Um, of course, you guys don't have to wear as much makeup as me. Like, you could even do this look without falsies. But I always wear falsies. That's just who I am. I literally cannot live without them. They're my thing. Like, I love them so much. Like, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, you could even do this look, like, with just blush my mascara and just do like a lip I love that this look you could take it like any different way but yeah I definitely did my makeup different today I just kind of wanted to enhance my um facial features basically I just wanted to like I don't know just kind of like have fun with it and be natural yeah, and I love this glitter that I use. It's just like, I don't know, it's just different than what I usually do on my channel. I just wanted to do something fun, something different for you guys, and that's what I did for this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. I had a lot of fun filming for you guys. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, tomorrow I was thinking of doing like a bold glitter kind of smoky eye. Like I think I might call it festive glam with red lips. Yeah. I think I want to do a red lip tomorrow. I have, um, a red lip color. Um, I use before it's from YSL it's not a matte lip color but I've been loving it recently it's super like moisturizing and hydrating and it's not really thick and I don't know I I haven't played with like loose glitters for you guys in a while and I think I'm just gonna do that so I would probably do this look for a Christmas kind of look but I'm just gonna call it festive glam with red lips because I'm just a festive bitch but I want to do that video for you guys tomorrow so yeah yeah, and since I did such a basic look today, I just want to be, you know, different. Do different looks here for you on my channel. Anyways, you guys, I had so much fun filming. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. I'm trying not to make my outros and intros really long. This was a little bit of a shorter video for you guys, so 
I hope you guys enjoy. I don't know if you guys heard, but the economy in BC is supposed to be open soon. So my mom told me we're supposed to go back to work 16, 19, which I'm not really excited. I've kind of been digging staying at home, but I guess we're going to have to go to work eventually, but I don't know. I'm not super excited, so I definitely need to start going to bed early. But last night, I went to bed at 2 and I woke up at 10.30, so I definitely should go to bed earlier. Like, I should try 11 tonight. So let's see if I go to bed. But um, what time is it? I think it's like 4.35, so I'm going to start editing this video, post it for you guys tomorrow, and I'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully you guys aren't getting too bored, but I'm sure the economy is going to open soon and we're back to our normal lives. I just wish the gym would open because that's probably what I'm most excited for. I need to go to the gym. I got some pounds on me. Anyways, you guys, I love you so much. I hope you guys aren't sick and yeah, it's a beautiful day today. I love you. Bye. Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, my lips are way better than yesterday. Um, they're still a little bit chapped, but I'm just gonna use this Kapari lip gloss. I love this stuff, it's so good. Um, so yesterday I actually used honey and coconut oil. Um, and I made a paste and I put that on and I took it off. It seemed to help. I put it on in the morning too. But I just love this Kapari one. Just for now. Mm, mm, mm. yeah so for today's look i'm just gonna do an easy glam but um i applied foundation concealer under eye powder face powder and i'm just gonna use this morphe continuous setting mist i'm just gonna seal the deal up in this bitch Because I'm so dry. I'm going to do a super easy glam today. Also, like, it's super hot. So this is so refreshing for me. It's like, yes, bitch. Okay. So I just want to mention, I went to London Drugs today. And I actually got a, the e.l.f. What are these? These are um, the liquid glitter eyeshadows. They're actually pretty pigmented, but they didn't have a silver one, and I accidentally bought this color in the same one. There's a copper one that I meant to buy, but I got two of these, whatever. But this gold one is so pretty. But I'm going to go back in a few days because they didn't have dish soap, the one that I buy. So I'm going to go back in a few days and maybe check out. They had a blue one, but I would never use the blue one, but... I swatched them earlier. They look really beautiful. Maybe I'll use that in a video if you guys want that. So I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. So basically, we're just going to use this for the eyeshadow look because I want this look to be super simple. Yeah, super simple. So this is in the color Diamond Dust. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's so beautiful. So we're just going to put this all in the lid and I lightly powdered my lid just really lightly because I didn't want it to be cakey from this product and I mainly concentrate right in the center so when I open my eyes I want that to be the main focus on the lashes or oh, whatever like a look at that it's so pigmented you know it's such a beautiful color you guys and see like i love how universal these are you can just apply it by itself you can apply it on like a smoky eye a super blind eye But not really for this look. So we just wanna Perfect. 
Okay, I'm gonna do this way. Um, the brush I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use this five M five oh six. Um, cause I got some in the crease there. I'm just gonna use this blank. I'm gonna make sure none is on the crease. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. It's pretty good. You just got to let it dry. Um, now we're just going to um, uh, conceal the eyebrows really quickly. I'm just going to clean my eyebrows using the Tarte a Shape Tape. And I'm going to use a, the Morphe M432. I'm just going to clean the eyebrows really quickly. I always do this stuff. Like, I cannot live without it. Just be careful not to look up. And just let it dry. Okay. Just let it dry. Okay, while that concealer is tacky, um, I'm just going to use the Makeup Forever Star Lit Powder in the color 13. This is in the shade Ivy. You guys know I've been loving this lately. It just makes your eyebrow highlight so beaming. And I'm using the M213. This is just like a smudger guy. And I'm just going to lightly highlight the eyebrow. I'm just lifting my eyebrow because I don't want to like scrunch my eyes because we have that wet glitter. And it's still drying. Oh, this has been my favorite brow highlight of all time, you guys. Ah, this shit is so hard to get out. I, like organized all my makeup, but I think I organized it too well because I can't find anything. So what happens when you clean? Okay, I'm going to use the Dior uh, Backstage Glow Palette. I've been loving this gold color and this white color. So we're going to go in with strobe gold and then strobe white. And we're just using the M455. We're just going to dip. Um, and I'm just going to spray my brush really quickly. And just tap that in the inner corner. so beautiful you guys I've been loving this inner corner highlight are you kidding me and I can't live without an inner corner highlight then with like a really easy eye look I think it just makes such a difference you know and then we're gonna grab a strobe white really lightly And do the other eye. Like that. Yeah, it's just like extra beam, you know? And then in it. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do under eye powder. Because we didn't do baggage and I have to. I'm just going to use the Charlotte, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. So I've been loving this. No, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use a different one. Sorry. I'm actually going to use the Shade and Light Palette. Because um, I'm running low. So I might as well use this one. Because I used this one to set my concealer earlier. And I'm just using these two highlighting shades. Because that's my vibe. I thought I was going to do something different, but I just want to do this. So we're using a brush so I don't have to look up and I won't ruin my eye makeup, especially because we use a liquid glitter eyeshadow. I don't want to use a sponge because I'll look up and then it'll touch my crease and then I'll just ruin it. And then I wanted to do eyebrow highlight because it kind of creates this shadow. So it kind of looks like we have a shadow, but we don't. So... If you guys don't want to add 
for what it, whatever reason, um, brow highlight, you don't have to, but this is just what I'm doing. On to mascara. I think this is going to be a really short video, but whatever. Um, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in Black Kiss Black. This is one of my favorites um, of mascaras. I think so we're just going to lightly coat the lashes. Like that just makes a difference when you wear lashes it just takes it there oh oh my god I forgot I wanted to use eyeliner how could I forget I think for today's look because we didn't do a smoky lower lash line I'm just going to go with um a beige liner you could do a white with this look but white I think because we did um more like a silver base glitter it would be too like in your face and I'm not about that journey so I'm gonna go in with ColourPop cream gel liner and honey dude and this is a really pretty color like I just want a nude liner and that because that glitter is probably dry now we can just put eyeliner now and just don't look up just look straight neighbors let me tell you they're so loud and then i'm going to use this urban decay 24 7 waterline eye pencil and walk of shame i love this color i love um urban decay's pencils are really pigmented i like to always use um two beige color pencils because i find with um these colors they're not super pigmented and i find the best results is when you apply two pencils they're just not um, as pigmented as like white liner or black liner. I think they're really like hard to make pigmented. So I always use two. That's just what I do. We just kind of like want it like muted. We don't want it too in your face or bright. Okay. I'm just going to use some tweezers and just pop this right on. Oh, this one's hard to put on into it. I don't know because we use just glitter, but it's harder to put on today. I don't know. Okay, we're going to pop the other lash on. Like that. No, it's not on. Yes. Perfect. It's looking perfect. Just makes such a big difference. Wait till we put lower lash mascara. Okay, that's done. Um, I'm just going to put this away. I don't know. I think lashes make such a huge difference. I don't know. Into it. I'm into it. I think I'm going to use this one. This is the Morphe 530. And it, I'm going to use the Kat Von D shade in my palette. I'm going to use these two contour shades. I don't know. I've been using my Dior contour powder a lot. I just want to use this today. Because I don't know. I'm going to be different for today. I'm just going to lightly contour. Like 
And then possible? I don't know. more of a natural we want a really light kind of bronzy look um i think i'm going to use this one um this bronzer this is the fenty beauty sun stalker instant warm bronzer in the shade of private islands because we did more of a natural contour i think i just want to use this one okay and then for um a bronzer brush i'm going to use the morphe times jacqueline hill jh02 this is the bronzer brush of all time it's one of my favorites just because it's so big and it's a goat hair and i love goat hair for applying like anything on the face because it just gives you such a beautiful kind of finish okay, we're just gonna apply this to the skin yeah that's actually really pretty sometimes I feel like this bronzer is a little too dark for me and I think because we did a lighter contour today it's not looking as dark as usual I always tell everyone on my channel how, like, I'm meant to get, um, I think it's called Indescent. It's a shade lighter than this, but I got this one by accident. But it's not super, super dark on me, which I'm loving. It's looking a little too light for me. It's actually perfect. Yeah. I'm in it. I'm in it. Okay. Um, stay. Stay. Okay. I'm just going to um, bake the bottom of the face really quickly. I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Just going to bake. It's so weird not to bake under the face. But because we didn't do, like, a smoky eye, I don't think I need it today. I kind of want, like, a refresh, kind of fresh look for today's tutorial. I don't know. This is my vibe. I don't think I've done a really basic look like this in a long time. Like, this is basic for me. For other people, they'd be like, that's so much makeup. Like, this is nothing compared to what... I usually do. I'm just going to contour the nose really quickly. I'm just going to use that Fenty Private Island bronzer. I'm using this Kylie Gauthier Slanted Brush. I got this from her Christmas collection. She used to have her other brushes on her website, but I think she's revamping her. Oh, that's a little harsh, but we'll blend it out with some powder after. That's a little harsh, but whatever. Okay, we're just going to grab um, some of that Kat Von D, um, those two highlighting powders. I'm just using the Morphe Y11. I'm just going to contour, um, highlight the nose really quickly. I find like this kind of makes a difference because it contrasts with the nose contour. It's a little dark, but whatever. It'll fade. And then I like applying some on the forehead. To look. With a basic look like this, I feel like your imperfections show more. So that's why I like to do these steps. Just to make it so, so perfect. Okay, we're going to grab the Kat Von D Shade of Light Palette, those two highlighting shades. I'm just going to highlight the bottom of my face, and I'm using the Y11 brush from the Gold Collection for Morphe. 
ones. I can't really get in there because I have none left, but I use a brush for this part. When it's more like, when it's not reaching the pan, I'll use my beauty sponge, but I can't get my sponge in there, so I'm using this brush. Okay, so just... Just because I'm going to use this Makeup Forever brush. I don't know the name, but I'll list it below because I want to take this out and it's, yeah. But I'm going to use this kind of corally peachy shade. Yeah, it's kind of like a rosy color. I love it. What's a blush brush I want to use? I'm just going to use this one. This is the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH06. I love Makeup Forever blushes. They're so pigmented. And this color is like kind of mauve peachy. So it's perfect. And the other ones are a little too bright. But this is actually a really pretty blush with this eye look. So it's like basic. And I do a really basic look. I want it to be very like natural. And this blush is perfect. It just... I just want to emphasize those rosy cheeks. I don't want to make it too peachy or too dark. And this color is perfect with every eye look. Um, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. This is such a beautiful champagne color, especially with, like, we're doing more of a natural kind of glowy look. This is definitely, like, a product I need to use. I use this in every beauty routine. I've used other ones, like Jaclyn Hill has one um, that's good, and Jimmy Laura Mercy has one, but I just love this one. Um, the Dior Backstage Contour Palette has it. And I use the Kylie um, Illuminating Powder that kind of like does the same thing. But nothing works as good as this one. This one's just so different and I love it. It's beautiful. I don't know. There's like some certain powders in here. It just makes your skin look really flawless. And even when I'm crazy dry, it doesn't show up like dry patches. It doesn't dry out my skin, which is what I like. I'm just going to go in with the Morphe Continue Setting Mist just to basically mist the skin, any cakiness we have, just basically it's going to prep our skin before the actual highlight because that's going to make it beaming. Um, I think I'm just going to use this one because this is my vibe. So I'm going to go in, this is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette, and I'm going to go in with Peach and bronze because I want to. I've just been loving these highlights. They're so amazing. I'm going to use the Morphe Times Jeffree Star JS4. I love this brush. So I'm just going to go in with bronze first because it's the darker color. I always do the darker color first and then do the lighter because the highlight, the lighter color is going to actually highlight and um, hit that light like beaming. Okay, I'm just going to apply this really softly onto the cheeks. This bronze color kind of has like a, like a holographic kind of color to it. It's kind of weird, but it's really pretty too. Yeah. That's all. Or you can use a sponge to pat it up. That's what I always do. Okay, now I'm going to go in with peach. Yes. I love to be peachy. And because we, like, applied um, that silver glitter to the eyes, I just want to do kind of like a peachy, like, light highlight. And I always like to do it on the temple of of my face because it just hits the light perfectly there. And this is the 001 Universal Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I'm just going to use this strobe white, but I'm going to dip it in the sponge and like tap it in because I've been loving this step using a sponge just to pat onto the face. I want it like, I want it really seamless. It's a little much, but I'm kind of in it. Usually with natural eye looks, I don't like to do too much highlight because it's kind of overpowering. But this shade of white with this silver, it just looks so pretty. You guys, just another highlighter. 
just because I'm that extra. I actually want to use the Makeup Forever Star Lit Powder in shade 13. I just want to apply this on the cheeks. I'm just going to use that same JS4 brush, and I'm just going to dip in the cap. Like, this stuff is pigmented, so I want to apply it onto the cheeks. This is, like, it's just so, oh, my God, intense. And this is kind of like an ivory champagne color, so it's going to balance that white we applied earlier. Like, look at that. Like, that just took that cheek. That just took it there. You know what I mean? Dry. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What lip liner? I think I'm going to use, like, a bunch of color pop stuff just because I'm going to use this one. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Toy. Not sure if they still have this color, but it's such a pretty color. It's like a really light nude, and I'm kind of in it. It's using my sharpener. It's not working. It's good enough. Whatever. Okay, I'm just going to apply this all over the lips. Um, stuff. So I'm going to use this one. This is color pop, color plop, color pop ultra satin lip. This is, this, yeah, this is a satin lip in Aquarius. This is, um, Kathleen Light's collaboration. I love Kathleen Light. She's so beautiful and I love how pale she is and she embraces it. But this is her satin, ooh, I just got some on my vein. This is her satin lip color. It's such a beautiful, perfect, a pinky nude. It's like my dream color. I actually bought two of these by accident, but uh, I got a backup bitch. So I'm just going to apply this everywhere. And because my lips are so dry, I want to use a satin lip color because if I use a matte, especially ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lips are very dry. So this is going to be super hydrating because my lips, they're a bad situation right now. Especially because they're cracked. I was going to do a red lip, but I couldn't decide which red lip I wanted. Also, my lips are dry. I think I shouldn't do, like, uh, with, like, bold colors. I don't like to put a gloss, like, with a red lip. I don't think I could do that. Such a pretty color. Okay, we're just gonna put this up on. Yeah, it's beautiful. You could just do this, but I have to add a gloss because I'm that bitch. Um, I'm gonna use this one. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Aquarius. Um, this is the Kathleen Light. She created this. She created the gloss. Oh, it smells so good. And I'll show you. It's basically the match of this, but it's so pretty. I'm just going to put this all over my lips. I also love fla uh, Fairy Floss. I think she created that one, but I just want, I don't want a lighter gloss. I just want to match this with this one. It's so beautiful. She did such a good job on these colors. I love Kathy. Just because it's a little, I don't want to say goofy, but I think I put too much on, but whatever. Okay, I'm just going to seal the deal really quickly with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mask before we apply Bow Gel and Lower Lash Mascara. And some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So I got to seal these babies so all the product gets lower okay we're gonna apply um mac extended play giga black lash and i love this mascara i love the one too it's so like perfect for lower lashes oh my god i just got a bunch of mascara on my skin 
so sometimes I'll just use a spoolie just to take it off. Okay, beautiful. I'm kind of in this basic look. But it's like basic for me. Like this is like the most basic I would do, but it's still like a lot. Okay, I'm going to curl my hair real quickly. I got to check mail, so I'm going to check mail, curl my hair. I'll be right back. Love you guys. glam and makeup tutorial um this is probably the easiest glam that i've done i had to curl up my hair because i'm just that bitch um quick disclaimer though my lips are definitely way less swollen than yesterday yesterday i couldn't really talk because it was hurting so bad and it was just my upper lip it's definitely way better it's not as painful as today so i'm so happy that about that yeah pretty much I love this lip color this eye color I'm kind of you know like some of those days you just don't want to put a lot of makeup like I know a lot of people would think this is a lot of makeup but for me this is Angelique basic pretty much but yeah um I hope you liked this tutorial I had so much fun creating this look I know it was a shorter video but um, I know a lot of my videos are a little bit longer than other YouTubers. That's just because I like to show you guys like all the steps that I do to make my makeup look perfect. And I like going into details. And I know a lot of people have told me before that my videos are longer, but I go more in depth. I find a lot of YouTubers, they don't really explain what they're doing. And I want to teach you guys and I want to explain exactly what I'm doing, when I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Because a lot of people who aren't makeup artists or they don't do makeup on a regular basis, I want you guys to um, know like new things and that's why you guys watch videos here on YouTube so you guys can learn as well and yeah I mean I don't know everything about makeup I just know like what works for me and I know as a professional wise um yeah and like all the steps that I do to make my makeup look perfect um yeah but definitely the stuff that I know now I didn't know 10 years ago way I did my makeup before who girl <laughs> like honestly I was looking at older pictures like my eyebrows were horrendous I didn't like apply my lashes properly my lips look horrendous like they were not even I draw like I just do my makeup so much more better um yeah like it's just if you guys like ever look old pictures of yourself and you like look at the makeup how you did it it's like um and I barely put highlight on I didn't know how to contour like and I think makeup right now, it's so advanced. Like the stuff that they have are coming out right now. There's always something new. And I think skincare is like a lot more advanced than it was 10 years ago. Like skincare now is just so amazing. I noticed like a lot of skincare companies are coming out with a lot of hyaluronic stuff. Like, that's really hydrating for the skin. And basically, kind of like you have Botox. Like, I love Glow Recipe. They're one of my favorite skincares. It's a Korean brand. Um, I love Mario Badescu. Badescu. He's one of my favorite lines, and I love that it's an actual skincare line, and that um, they use it, like, during facials. Like, it's a facial line and an actual skincare. I love The Ordinary. I love them because they're really affordable, and it's more than just skincare. It's, like, advanced skin skincare. Like, they have this serum. It's kind of like an exfoliator, It's more and then they have a toner. It's more than just a toner. It's, like, an exfoliator, too. It's, like, definitely, like, The Ordinary, the stuff that they have it's definitely for like estheticians to use and I love that that it has like AHA and it has all these different like basically compounds to like it's more than just a skincare line it's definitely a line that estheticians would use in a facial and I like that because like you know I find with skincare right now a lot of people struggle with skin especially acneic skin a really dry skin like myself but it's like just in general, like makeup and skincare, it's so advanced now than what it used to be, which is amazing because, but the only problem with that, I find like a lot of people are really picky with stuff, but 
their skin looks better than it did years ago. So, yeah, and they never used to have the macular water. Like, that's what I use to take off my makeup because um, a lot of eye makeup removers, they hurt my eyes. Like, when I take it off, it literally stings my eyes. So, I like the macular water. It's like, so I use it as a face wash and eye makeup remover. And it's really soothing on my skin, especially because I have such dry skin. Like, I'm like... I feel like my skin is like the desert, <laughs> like that's how it is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do this light, breezy makeup look. It wasn't too difficult. This look is super easy. I know that I think this is like the first makeup look I've done on my channel without doing a blown out lower lash line. I used to do um, like a smoky lower lash line with this look, but I think it's too dramatic. So now I just do this. And if I'm in a hurry, I do this makeup look like it's so quick. Um, yeah, quick and fast. And you just like, you know, you could even do this with like cream contour or like, I don't like cream um, products on my skin because I'm dry and I find it's kind of patchy. And then to apply powder on top it's just too much work for me so I'm a powder girl but um yeah this is super simple you guys can skip skip the contour or the bronzer if you guys aren't a contour or bronzer girl you can just add blush this look would look great with blush or you're or if you're like James Charles and you like freckles you can even add freckles blush like a little bit of highlight and you're good to go you you guys don't have to do the exact steps so I did but with this look this is what I do on a regular basis and I love it it's like so simple but like glam at the same time and sultry you can even do this with a darker lip the only reason I didn't do this with a darker lip just because my lips are healing so I wanted to add like a sand lip not a matte lip and I wanted to add a gloss because my, my lips are so dry right now it's just crazy I just wanted to add a lip color for the purpose of the video for you guys so yeah um, but yeah you could do this with a red lip a dark lip whatever you want because this is a very natural kind of glittery eye you could take a bold lip with this color and this color would look amazing with a red lip but I didn't do it today because my lips hurt so bad, but they're definitely better. And if you guys have really, really dry lips, try using coconut oil and honey. That's what I used yesterday. And you make a paste together. So equal parts, one to one. And I put it in a little container, like any container. And I put it in a paste. It's in my washroom. And you just put it on. It actually tastes really good. Like, I couldn't stop licking my lips. And my boyfriend's like, you're not supposed to eat it. I was like, well, it's coconut and honey. Like, why not? It's probably good for you. But it definitely helped a hundred percent so I put it on I left it for like five minutes and then I took it off with a baby wipe and they felt so much better and then I put um, a lip sleeping mask on I like the Laneige one I have the mint chocolate one but they have the other flavors if you like that so and I woke up this morning my lips were so much better they were definitely more hydrated not as chap I still have the cut here which is okay but I'm gonna try doing that again tonight um for tomorrow's look I think I want to do a dramatic eye look I kind of want to do a really like festive glam glitter smoky eye and I think I want to do a red lip tomorrow I have a red lip color in mind that I want to use and it's not a matte it's kind of like a satin lip and it's red um it's from YSL I just have to look for it because um I organize my makeup and I have to look for it but um yeah I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow I think I, I'm gonna call it festive glam with red lips I think that's what I'm gonna call it yeah, because I haven't done a glitter, like a actual glitter using glitter look in a while. I kind of want to do like a red smoky eye with a blown out green lower lash line and do like a red lip. That's my vibe because I did such a natural look today. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Anyways, you guys, I had so much fun filming this tutorial for you guys. I love you guys. I just wanted to do something simple, something different on my channel. I know a lot of the looks I do here on YouTube is super dramatic and, um, intense but that's just because that's what I do on a regular basis that's what I always do but 
I do sometimes just wear a basic kind of natural look and this is my version of basic and natural if this is too much you guys you guys could skip the face lashes and just apply mascara you can do whatever you want do something similar don't forget to tag me if you do this look um, yourself I love to see when you guys do looks that I do here on YouTube um, don't forget to subscribe so you know all about my updates here that I do on my channel I love you guys so much I'll see you tomorrow Bye.